This is a positive edge triggered D flip-flop. I know it's positive edge triggered because it has this little triangle here and a D flip-flop, you remember how it works, whatever the data is, whatever is sitting here. Now in this case, I have a one sitting here at D because the light is on, I can tell it's a one. Whatever is sitting here will become the output Q the next time the clock goes up, right? It's positive edge. So let me run the thing. Um, you can see that nothing happened to my output Q yet, but as soon as I flip the clock up, the output Q turned on because I had a one sitting here. Now I have a zero here. Well, the reason I have a zero here is because I connected D to not Q. So as soon as Q turned on, not Q became a zero. So now I have a zero sitting here. And the next time the clock goes up, Q will turn off, which it just did. So essentially by connecting D to not Q, I have created a D flip-flop in toggle mode. You know toggle mode from JK flip-flops. And if I clock this thing, if I keep going, you can see that the output Q changes state every time the clock goes up, right? It alternates between off and on every time the clock goes up. So let's take a look at a timing diagram just to make sure you get what's going on here. Let's complete the timing diagram for this D flip-flop. And you already know how this is going to work. Every time the clock goes up, Q will toggle. It'll change state from zero to one. So right now uh, I can see that Q is off. So I'll just start Q down like this. The clock goes up. So I'm going to have Q change state. And then I keep going until the clock goes up again. Here the clock goes up again. So Q now changes state, right? It's This is the same thing as toggle mode with your JK flip-flop. Every time Q goes up, I change the state. And again, the reason that it's changing state is because I have D connected to not Q. So it's always the opposite of Q. So I have the, I ha if Q happens to be a zero, I have a one sitting in a D. So when the clock goes, Q becomes a one and then not Q becomes a zero and I get that toggle mode. All right, let's look at two flip-flops in a row now. Ooh, this is getting exciting. I now have two flip-flops connected to each other. Now you already know how the first one is going to behave. If I, if I run the clock here, which I'll do here, you know it's a positive edge triggered clock. So every time the clock goes up, Q0 changes, it toggles, right? But check out this second output, this Q1 here, that toggles every time Q0 goes off. So I'll, I'll do it a little bit slower. See, every time Q0 goes off, see, it just went off, Q1 changes its state. Well, why is that happening? Well, I have this little connection right here. I've connected the second clock to the output of not Q. So in other words, every time Q goes from a one to a zero, or another way of thinking of it, every time not Q goes from a zero to a one, this second flip-flop will toggle. Let me count again, and I think you'll see what's going on. So Q zero is toggling, you could say like every time a clock goes on, Q one is toggling half as fast every other time the clock goes on. Interesting. All right, let's draw a diagram for this guy. Let's draw the wave diagram for this two flip-flop circuit here. You already know how to draw this first one, of course. Every time the clock goes up, Q0 will toggle. So I'll just draw then every time the clock goes up, I'll toggle. Clock goes up again, clock goes up again, and so forth. All right, so let's think about the diagram for Q1 now. And that's a little bit tricky always. And I kind of, I talked about it in the last slide here. This Q2's clock, comes from not Q1. So in other words, every time not Q1 goes up, that's what my little up arrow there, this guy will get clocked. Another way of thinking about it is every time Q0 goes from one to zero, every time it goes down, this guy will, this, this guy will toggle essentially. So let's think about it that way. Every time Q0 goes off, so every time Q0 goes off, all right, uh, so that's right here. This guy should toggle. Every time Q0 goes off, that's right there, toggles. And that is it. Okay, interesting. All right, I'm going to have you try a couple on your own.